this article is about John Kerry. Now, the Swift uh, boat veteran, you know, the one that said that uh, self-inflicted uh, himself to get his purple heart, right? Um, apparently, his family is in a legal battle to keep walls around his lavish French villa and because he's, quote-unquote, concerned about terrorism. Ninety years ago, the grandfather of Kerry and his first cousin, Bryce Lord uh, purchased the castle there, and uh, the Nazis destroyed part of it during World War II. Now, they're saying that because of his political affiliation and the things that are going on, he wants to be able to keep the wall up because of terrorism. Now, how selfish is that, Barry? What do you think about this here, sir? Well, keep in mind, this is the same guy uh, that pushed so hard for the Iran nuclear deal when it made no sense and could not and would not be called out with logic and truth because he's a professional liar and he's the reason why uh, the deal finally went down when he capitulated and gave Iran everything they wanted, which created the biggest worldwide highly funded terror organization in the history of the planet. Now John Kerry, with his huge fortune, besides his estates in the United States, has this monster castle in France, and he's worried about terrorism there. Terrorism that probably was caused by his devious deal-making with the Iranian mullahs and wants a wall, because why? There's terrorists out there. There's bad guys, and he wants to keep them out. Why, Germain, does he want a wall? Well, walls work, Germain. Everybody knows it, even people that lie to the press and say they don't. <laughs> if you if if you were to ask John Kerry if you got an interview with him and you said, hey, former Vice President Kerry, why is it you want a wall in France around your uh, $50 million estate? And he would say, well, I want to keep out criminals and I want to keep out terrorists. And you said, exactly, because walls keep out bad guys, right? Yeah. How come we don't want a wall on the southern border of the United States where drug dealers and murderers and pedophiles and gangsters are coming across the border every day? And if he was honest, he would say, well, that's because they're going to vote Democrat and I'm a Democrat. But I doubt you're going to get that answer, Jermaine. I really do. Yeah, you're not going to get it at all. And so we have one more uh one more article here that I want to show you. And this is by the American Mirror.com. Let me go ahead and show the crowd. And ladies and gentlemen, this is about Nancy Pelosi's border wall around her Napi, Napa Valley estate. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big estate. As you guys can see here by the pictures. All right. You see the nice little uh, beautiful brick wall. And she got the little fence there. And uh, a little nice gate, you know, and this is another elitist, Barry, who has walls around their house, but yet advocates for no walls around our border. Absolutely ridiculous. She has a magnificent estate in the Napa Valley, which is where the wine comes from in uh, Northern California with a huge wall and uh, guarded perimeter, just like her mansion in San Francisco. She's worth uh, something around a fifth of a billion dollars and just got elected Speaker of the House again mm -hmm. because, Jermaine, she's the representative of the little people and the poor people, and um, as long as they don't come near her, she's fine with it. But open the border on the southern United States and make more voters for her and she'll be very happy. Isn't it just wonderful? Hypocrisy in this country is not called out by the press anymore, Jermaine, because it's just not the policy of the press to report if it's something that isn't what they support politically. Pathetic, isn't it? Yeah, Thank it's... God we have people like you and me telling the truth for people like your viewers out there to hear about. <laughs> 